This last week has been a nightmare. I tell you what, I've had enough of this cold. So overnight, the exhaust plugged, and I think also the intake plugged. So our boiler shut off. So it's getting cold in the shed, the shop, in the barn, in the back where all the cattle are. Not only that, yesterday it was zero degrees. I thought that would be kind of warm compared to the previous days, but we had a big wind. That drinker froze hard. It took about an hour to thaw that yesterday. Howdy. Yeah, I'm a little chilly. And then, not only that, but yesterday when I was getting ready for bed, I heard the sump pump running, and I went and looked at it, and it was not draining outside where the water came out at. It was also plugged, and so Dad and I, at about 9.30, 10 o'clock last night, we were outside pouring hot water on that, trying to get the sump pump to run. We are ready for the warm-up that is coming. Any good? We're going to have to try to figure out how to restart it. Red means no. Does it tell you what the problem is or anything? It says lockout. Press enter to reset. Manual reset. Halt ignition. Did I fix it? What are you touching it for? Well, it like... Making sure it's not coming at it. Now this status is rad slab. I like the sound of that. Rad slab? Rad slab. Haven't had that in a while. A red slab? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose we could see if it's burning on the side. It says here the target is 130 degrees. I don't know. You don't know? I've never read that thing. I don't have to. Oh. If it's blue, it's working. If it's red, it ain't. That's all I know about it. Okay. We are looking at a full barn. We got... Oh. That calf looked like it was laying weird, but it's all right. That one's all jumpy. Woo! Woo, yeah. So we got one, two, three, four calves right here. And then over here we got one, two, three, four more. So we got eight in the barn. We've been nervous because we only had one spot left. But no, nobody calved for more than a day, which is really nice because that calf wouldn't be ready to go to the south farm. And then when we're cleaning this out, we'd have to put that calf somewhere so it's not in the way and getting dusted. Six at the south farm. There's eight here. We're up to a grand total of 14 calves. Right, I'm checking my math on that one. So we will move some buckets out of the way. Oh man, these cold days. I hope my complaining doesn't upset the people of Texas. Oh man, you know, they weren't, those guys were not set up for the weather they got. That has to be tough. Power shutting off, pipes freezing. Feel bad for those guys. We're gonna get the waters running. You guys know the daily routine. We're gonna feed the cattle. After that, we'll pull the eight cows off, load them up, load the calves up, bring them over to the south farm, and then we gotta get cleaning and rebedding. A few weeks ago, the Farm Focus merch store was updated. It looks sweet. You guys should definitely check that out, especially if you're wanting Sunny Farms stocking cap or a t-shirt, sweatshirt, sticker, can koozie. Keep your beverages nice and cool. That's a stiff hose tanks are starting to build up with ice today it's getting up to a whopping 12 degrees fahrenheit the sun isn't really planning on coming out but hey 12 degrees that is about 12 more than we've had in the last week and on the news this morning they were saying we might actually tickle 50 degrees here in the next week you better believe me when i say i'm gonna be working in a t-shirt if it hits that temperature it is such a blessing when you flip that on and water comes out. With all these cold temperatures, our cattle have been resilient every morning coming up to the bunks. The calves staying warm, the tips of their ears staying warm. I just got a little excitement building because I know we got some warm temperatures coming tomorrow. It's gonna be, we're gonna be in the 20s. Next day, 30s. I am looking forward to that. Woo! Things are working, even though the boiler shut off. Hey, it's one or two bales right there. I don't know where Dad went. He went up to the shop. Hopefully, it's not another issue. 
big hunk of plastic peeled up in there. Uh huh. What'd you go up there for? No exhaust coming out of that yet, so I went in and felt the pipes, and it's still blue and it's preheating. So oh. I think we're okay. Okay. Not a little sun and 85 degrees couldn't fix. That drinker better be thawed today, otherwise I might lose it. Get some tractors warming up here. Had the 8R plugged in overnight. It doesn't have that preheat, so we gotta make sure this thing is plugged in. After that gets started, we'll take that, move it over to the block heater on the 7520. Guess it wants to snow today. Adds to the fun. You getting it? Sledge in the side-by-side? Side. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I got hay in the boot. His dad is working on that last load. I'll start splitting these. Put all the cows in there. Get all the calves up in this nice fresh pen. Then we can load them up real quick and get them moved over. We've still been locking those ones up at the South Farm, trying to keep the calves close to the building so they don't wander too far away. It's one of the worst things about winter on these sliding doors cause poo in the track it freezes solid and then we've taken hot water and torches to many of those doors this sooner trailer has about the best door since the doors on the outside some of them are more on the inside and that just really gets gummed up in the track Nine ninety nine. Nine twenty two. Nine twenty two. Nine oh three. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's got a big old bag. Big old bag. Yeah, no, there's you. There's something big and frozen in the way of that divider gate, so I can't get it shut. I'm gonna have to chain it. Let's see a nice chain. Otherwise, don't want those cows popping it open and squishing the calves. And I don't really want to get squished either. Alright, everybody, game faces. Close the door they took off running. Off we go. You ever notice that where you want to push baby calves to push them on is right where the poop comes up? Yes. Seems like kind of a design flaw. Uh -oh. They should pair up pretty good. We'll come back later, lock everybody in like we have been doing the last few nights. So those new calves, they won't end up out here and uh, just hanging out in the wind during the night. We'll try to get all these doors open, which with this cold, has been an issue. That's hard to drink out of. It smells good in here.
It's moist. Looks like the drinker froze again. Dad's working on it. I'm gonna hook up to the grapple bucket. I think that'll work a lot better picking up all that manure. How you coming? Getting them back together. Uh -huh. There you go. Keep, keep screwing. I got ice in that threads and it was starting hard. Oh. There it is. I can definitely grab a lot more stuff with the grapple bucket and it kind of squishes it down so it's not as fluffy when I put it in. So it can kind of hold more. Still doesn't save us much time. Still got to make two trips because there's a decent amount left that ain't going to fit. All right, so dad's pretty cold for working outside for a bit. Well, I got to sit in the warm bobcat, so he's gonna take this first load. I'll shut the gate after he leaves. Around the edges, I'll have to scrape up. Hey, are you pregnant? Ew, what you chomping on? It's actually starting to feel somewhat nice out here. It's got to be dang near 10 degrees. We'll spread this a little bit and then I think it'll be lunchtime. It's so bright out here. Looks like we got a sighting of Big Johnson Farms down the road. Oops. For the first time in about 10 days, the air don't have a spank to it. Yeah, I'm starting to sweat. It's a whopping like 12 degrees out here. Man. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Bring on the claves. Let's get it going. Claves. That's about the most fun job you can have. That looks a little better than last time. With these boots, I feel like Lieutenant Jim Dangle. Three payments, genuine ostrich. Yeehaw. And just like that, two bales of bedding processed. Hey, there's two you want in? Yep. We're gonna grab the whole works or grab two? All right, we got a pretty nice dry barn. It's nice to have some thick, deep bedding. Keep the calves healthy, keep the cows comfortable. It's gonna be a big old fire. Because of that, blew into the barn. We have a big old fire that would be there.
Ain't too many flies today. I I I don't think I've seen one. It's too clean to put critters in. Dinner and a drink. Don't puncture the radiator. Okay, son. <laughs> Well, Dad, it's two o'clock. You know what that means? We're done for the day. No, there's a brand new Sunny Farms video to oh. check out on YouTube. I see. Well, I think we survived the 2021 polar vortex. Yeah, it wasn't fun. All of our calves did too. We haven't lost one due to temperature, so that's a good feeling, especially getting through that negative 20 degree night. Ask any real rancher about what they prefer wet muddy ground or frozen ground and they'll calve on frozen ground mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's all i got to say about that oh i'm working at that for like probably like 20 seconds but it still sucked oh man guys that uh that sunny farm video was just so good we watched it like four or five times and forgot about the water well, that one's slurping up the top oh Look at that. Look at that. Just like a millimeter away from filling the quick coupler. Just in time. This girl's got something kind of interesting going on. Not only got a pink teat and a white bag, she's also got an extra smaller teat. Very interesting. Those milkers just come in all shapes and sizes. I was going to bring some perlets to make this easier, but I forgot. All right, everybody. To the barn we go. He wants the perlets. I'll go there. And we'll funnel them into there, and then we'll shut the gate. Okay. Come on. There's such a thing as sorting cattle. That wasn't what that was. That was thwarting cattle. We were thwarting them. Mm. Whoa. Alright, and I'll stay in there. That one half about made it in. <laughs> and she probably wouldn't have come back out very easily. They got some nice bedding, nice new fresh stuff that they're gonna turn ripe here in a matter of minutes. For all you jerky lovers out there, that ain't jerky. That is not jerky. No. I guarantee it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And from Sunny Farms, Cowardly Slappy says, have a good one. <laughs> Freak deli out. Paul, is this heaven? No, son. This is Sunny Farms Cabin Barn. That's all I got to say about that.